If you've seen van life, and you probably have, and you love to travel, this seems like such an interesting lifestyle. Now, I have seen those amazing videos, I've also seen a couple of the downsides on van life, but I was wondering how van life compares to more traditional living. And then mostly focusing on traditional living in the United States and Western Europe. To figure this out was actually pretty difficult because of course there's a lot of people who write or vlog about their experiences in a van, but I couldn't really find a lot of numbers. And what I mostly wanted to focus on is seeing how your ecological footprint differs when you live in a van compared to more traditional kind of living. To figure this out, I did a little bit of research and I divided my research into four different topics. And I also talked to someone who actually lived in a van for the last year to ask his take on all of this. First, I would like to cut to Niels, who was kind enough to talk to me about his experiences. We were in the van for a full year, uh, exactly 12 months now. And um... This was full time, yeah. And it looks amazing on those videos, which in reality it can be very boring and also or lonely or uh, or annoying to when you're together in a small space. Or so uh, the, it, it, it looks it looks so romantic and so fantastic on film. So I can imagine it it, it attracts a lot of people. Also, we were very inspired by by those, especially how they built their van to make to make it a house instead of a camper. Uh, so yes, I can imagine this, this, this will grow, but it's not a sustainable way of life. I think everybody will find it out by themselves. We stayed on one spot for a month or for a few weeks, and sometimes we were on the road. So let's say when we were on the road, um, going from place to place, I would say about uh, 60 liters in a week, uh, which is about 100 euro. This year we've been with the van. We have two bicycles with us uh, and we also have a little motorcycle with us. Water, um, I have uh, 80 liters of water with me if I fill everything up and it takes me about a week to, to use it up. Yeah, electricity is easy. Uh, we have two big solar panels, 300, uh, 320 watts and we have enough power always, plenty. Trash. Uh, around popular van life spots is a problem, I think. Yeah, you see a lot of uh, toilet paper. It's a bit embarrassing. Yeah, it could be much better. The rest is, I think, everything else is basically what comes with uh, van life. It's like you're downsizing and you're using just much less. You're using less electricity, less water. Uh, so that's an eco-friendly part. Be more aware of what you, of the footprint and everything that you use. I think this is this 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 consciousness will grow. So that was very helpful to me. Um, but I also just wanted to look at some numbers. It was pretty easy to find numbers on traditional living because they're all over the internet. Now I took numbers for America, like averages from all of the states, which um, of course, it differs a lot from state to state, but the same goes for the European Union, where you have a lot of countries. With the first category being water. Starting with the United States, and looking at a one-person household, people use an average of 66,000 liters of water. And for water I cheated a little, because I couldn't find an average for all of the EU, but I could easily find the numbers of my own home country and this came down to 52,000 liters of water for a one-person household. The average number I calculated for van life was 4,000 liters. Second, I looked at electricity. There was a big difference looking at all the numbers for electricity. For the US, an average household would use up to almost 11,000 kilowatt hours. For the EU, the average was only 4,000 kilowatt hours. And electricity was a hard one when it came to the numbers for van life, because most people have solar panels on their van and they didn't really know how much electricity they used because they always seem to have enough. 
So I just looked at an average solar panel and that would produce around 360 kilowatt hours per year. The third one I looked at was waste. I really wanted to know how much waste you would produce when you live in a van. For waste or trash, I looked at the amount of trash people produce in a year. Again, average for households, and a big part of this is probably recyclable. The US had again the highest number with 940 kilograms of trash each year. For the EU, it's almost half of that, just a little more with 487 kilograms. And for van life, it was a pretty broad spectrum from people living zero waste as much as they could and others who still had a lot of packaging and things. So the numbers are varying from 60 to around 240 kilograms per year. And last and also the most surprising to me was travel. You would presume that someone who lives in a van would make a lot more kilometers in a year, or at least that's what I thought. However, the numbers are for the US, a little over 24,000 kilometers. For the EU, again, around half of that with 12,000 kilometers. And for vans, a little more with an average of 15,000 kilometers. Now, maybe you can draw your own conclusion out of this. For me, I still find it pretty hard to say because there really aren't a lot of numbers for van life. I got all of my numbers from Facebook. I made a questionnaire and asked some people and I did the interview, of course, and I read a couple of blogs, but still the amount of information I could find was way too little to really have a conclusive answer. However, perhaps this has helped you uh, to get a more general idea of use and waste when living in a van. And if you're looking to get into this lifestyle, I hope it definitely helped you. And if you're not looking to get into this lifestyle, I hope it was at least entertaining and you learned a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. I will be doing more travel videos in the future. Um, Ah, itchy nose. <laughs> hey fever season, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your comments down below because I would love to connect with you guys. Also, I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, so if you want, please subscribe as well. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.